14th of June 1886, Mount Tarawera erupted um, very early in the morning. It blew up Lake Rotomahana, making it 20 times larger and up until 12 months ago, destroying the pink and white terraces, which we now know there is parts of at the bottom of the lake. Um, it then created the craters up through the valley, um, which are here today, and there has been subsequent eruptions since um, 1886 within the actual um, valley itself. attraction pretty much straight after the eruption um, but tours started coming through here in 1903 um, doing the world famous Waimangu round trip so they came out walked through the valley did the boat cruise um, went across on Te Ureke, did Lake Tarawera um, and that tour was run as a daily tour up until about six years ago now we just do it as for groups um, so it sort of took in the whole history of how the valley was developed and what happened um, as a result of the eruption with the buried village, etc. Waimangi is all about the intimacy with the environment, so it's a one directional walk um, with a bus trip back up the hill. So it's all about getting up close and personal with nature. So you walk past um, Frying Pan Lake, which is with an Echo Crater, which is the largest hot water spring in the world. You then got um, Inferno Crater, which is a crypto geyser, so it erupts internally. The water level rises up over a period of five to seven weeks it overflows and then it empties back into itself. So we also have other little springs um, with little little geysers, lots of beautiful coloured algae that grow in the hot water. There's um, a small spring in the valley that has what they call prehistoric thermophilic bacteria in it, which they put down to the Big Bang Theory. So NASA have been here and looked at that and written thesis and things about it. Um, the valley also, when it was first formed, was the, the conditions were exactly like it was when the earth first formed so a lot of plant spores had been sitting dormant within the earth's crust and when the valley erupted these spores thought hey we're back where we began let's grow so we've got some of the largest colonies in the world of prehistoric plants in the valley um, and some of which only grow at Waimangu. 